the guard fury fury violent anger rage we must both have cried out loud when our eyes met but while mine was the shrill cry of terror his was the roar of fury like a charging bulls the furies were three goddesses of vengeance wearing long black robes fastened around the waist with snakes they hounded lawbreakers, especially murderers. Serpents twined through their long white hair and coiled around their arms. Blood dripped from their black eyes. They lived in Tartarus, the deepest, darkest part of the underworld, where they persecuted evildoers even after death. But they came up to earth if they were summoned to deal with an injustice. When the two daughters of a human named Skadesos were brutally killed, he pounded the ground with his fist, calling to the furies below for vengeance. Hearing the cries of the grief-struck father, the furies lifted their heads and listened. Then, seizing their whips, they flew out of the underworld and emerged through cracks and fixtures in the craggy mountains. As soon as they caught the scent of the murderers, they gave chase. The men, seeing the dark, flapping shapes approaching, ran in terror, but they could not escape. Calling down curses, the furies lashed their whips till the murderers bled. They tore snakes out from their hair and hurled them at the killer's backs. Down the snakes slid, winding, twisting, but never biting their victims. Instead, they exhaled poisonous fumes that affected the men's minds and the men began to rave. Refusing to give them any rest, the furies chased and tormented the murderers until at last they went mad. Such was the punishment of the furies. Even though the furies existed to avenge evil, all people, good and bad, were scared of these goddesses. For who among us has never done anything wrong? When someone makes you mad, they infuriate you. And when you are filled with anger, you are furious. Also, when anger overcomes a group of people, they are collectively in a furor.